All right, welcome back to Triple R Random Rick Reviews. Today we're going to review a card game. Going to review the Xena CCG. Uh, he uses the Arc system. It's a pretty, pretty generic kind of a easy Magic the Gathering engine clone. But well, you'll see. It's way easier. All right, let's take a look at it. All right, so I've just laid some cards out um, to show different things. Uh, in this game, you'll draw a hand of seven, and then you'll play in this order. Let's see if I can just close now. So in your turn, you'll untap your characters and resources, draw a card, put one resource into play, play actions or put characters into play, attack with your characters, your turn is over. Your opponent's turn begins after that. So you take your hand of seven, these are the resources. Uh, a lot of these starters are just two color decks. Uh, I think they're all, I think blue is the only other color. So you have green, red and blue. So you play a resource, of course, has a cost. Summonious, you cost four. So you would need, in this game, you would only need one red resource. And as long as you had four more resources, you could then play Summonious. Each character only has one stat. So attack defense, this is like their total. He's a two. So you can attack for two, sit for two, dies. Um, he does have a unique. Whenever this character attacks, you may draw a card. And you would need a red to play him. And then a green, of course, to play a green character. It was just a blank. And I mentioned action cards. Same, you have to have the resources to be able to pay them. So you have Xena here doing a hammerlock. Draw a card. You may also choose one of your opponent's characters uh, and tap it. And you have a red action, swing and kick. Draw a card. You may also choose one of your opponent's attacking or blocking characters with power two or less and discard it. So just kill it outright. Um, in this game, your deck is your life total. So if you hit for two, you will discard two off the top of your deck. When your deck runs out, you have died and the game ends. Uh, these are pretty cheap now. Uh, it was definitely looks like a, like a, uh, I think they're Wizards of the Coast. So it was like an intro to get maybe uh, casual people or younger people to get into magic. Uh, they're all screenshots. I know a lot of people aren't fans of that. But I've seen worse, like the screenshots on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dice Masters are really fuzzy and bad. These are okay. Um, if you're a Xena fan, it's just kind of a cool collectible thing to have. I've probably played it once or twice. It's very, very fast. Due to, I mean, your deck runs out pretty quick. Um, there's a lot of tapping and discarding things in play. And then, I want to say they're like maybe 40 or 50 card size decks. I don't think they're 60. But... I'll be in there here. You can check for yourself. Just wanted to do a quick overview. Uh, it gets pretty bad reviews online and like on, I think, Board Game Geek, but it's not that bad of a game. I wouldn't pay a lot of money for it, that's for sure, because then you probably would be a little upset. But I think it's definitely for uh, the fan base. So there we have it the Xena CCG. Uh, the deck we're actually looking at is Siege Engine. Okay, time for another segment of Card Death. Uh, we have six cards again. We have Gargoyles, Warcraft, MTG, Versus, uh, Overcharge, and Neopet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two. One, two. John Reaver. When John Reaver enters play, you may, uh, whatever. 